Welcome back to Bakertown, guys. We are exploring Christmas uh, land. San, I can practically feel the goodwill towards men seeping into me. And we're going to see what goes on in here. And Cthulhu saves Christmas. I'll get Blitzen on finding our next Christmas League of Evil target. But it could take me a while. It'll take a week. It will always take a week. You heard the narrator. That leaves you with plenty of free time to take in the sights and make friends. Wahaha! <laughs> I will forge unbreakable relationships, bonds with others, but only for my dark purposes. And in doing so, you'll discover the love of Christmas was inside you all along. Sorry. Either way, it'll be fun. I booked you a room at one of the nicest places in town. Here, let me show you. Crystal takes Cthulhu to his hotel room. Not bad, not bad, minion. This room will suffice. Now, what should I do with the rest of my day? It's time to go to sleep. But it's not even noon yet. Doesn't matter. One activity a day. Them's the rules. You're not the boss of me. Cthulhu feels incredibly tired and decides to go to bed. Oh, he's so cute when he's sleeping. I wonder what would happen if I stick his hand in a bowl of water. <laughs> <laughs> She's got another sus face. It is now Christmas Eve, the second. This feels wrong. Right. So, what next? What? Spend time with Crystal. Rewards a shield wand. Okay, go down to the mall, see what we get. Spend time at the mall, or reward a fending, fencing sword. Spend time at the post office, reward an enchanted tunic. Spend time at the movies, a snow robe. Kitchen is a fur tunic. We already have a fur tunic, I think. Expedition is a big sword. Hmm. I don't know, what do you want to do first? Okay. In a bar, Cthulhu discovers a lead on a cool expedition. Cthulhu sends Crystal to go, Crystal to go complete it. Crystal returns. We left Christmas Land and took a bus to Innsmouth. I had a good feeling. This area is famous for unholy abominations. But I tried my best. As a result, we were able to get it. There was one inn that really stood out. I booked a room with faith. Inside, it was a treasure I'd never seen before. A big sword! So this job was a big success. You got a big sword, this weapon. It is now Christmas Eve the 3rd. Alright, now what do we want to do? Movie! So we got a new one. Wait. No, we got that. Oh, never mind. Cthulhu decides to spend some, some time with Crystal. So what's fun to do in this joint? I have just the place in mind. Cthulhu le Crystal leads Cthulhu to a large park. There is a large outdoor ice skating rink filled with happy skaters. There is also a massive Christmas tree that's so tall the top can barely be seen. I love it here. Being able to control ice with a wave of my hand makes it easy to do well at ice skating. But besides that, it's so peaceful here. Sometimes I like to find a bench to sit on and just gaze up. Look at the star on the tree and also look at the stars in the sky. Cthulhu, do you remember your first Christmas? What do we say? How should I know if he did? Well, you decide for him. Game, how should I know? I remember my first Christmas like it was yesterday. A particularly eager cultist had brought me my first Christmas present. It was his little sister, you see. Sure, she was sane at the time, but a few days of staring at me and reading the ancient texts fixed that. Watching the drool spill out of the corners of her mouth really helped me understand the joy of the season. That's horrifying. That's not understanding the joy of the season at all. Maybe for you, for me, it did my cold heart good to see how far that poor wretch had fallen. 
I can see that I have a lot of work to do if I'm going to get you to understand the joy of Christmas. But I'm just the person for the job. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'll make sure to have a strategy. I'll play it out for the maximum Christmas spirit. This is going to be so much fun! I can hardly wait. On the way home, Cthulhu spots a dog chewing on a weird-looking stick. A short tussle later, the dog is relieved of its chew toy. Cthulhu got a shield wand. This weapon for crystal boosts her defense. What are we going to do now? Cthulhu decides to spend some more time with Crystal. Let's go get some ice cream! I'll swim! Cthulhu and Crystal go to an ice cream parlor. It's a cold day, so there aren't very many people there. This is my favorite place for ice cream. The designs are ultra cute and everything tastes amazing! Wait, if I have tentacles on my mouth, am I going to do a lot of curly things like Zoidberg? Probably. Crystal's ice cream arrives and it's three scoops of vanilla set up like a snowman. Cthulhu's ice cream is dressed up like a little penguin. Bon appetit! The ice cream is eaten in silence. Not bad, but tormented souls are still the tastiest. Every Christmas day, my grandpa would take me to celebrate a successful night of work. He'd always order the pistachio ice cream in the shape of a Christmas tree. He'd even do a bit of magic to make the star on top twinkle. Just the thought that I might never see him again make me feel. No, I can't even think about that. It's so awful. Crystal looks like she's about to cry. Try to comfort her or mock her pain. Cthulhu is on the case. Santa is definitely getting rescued. And if you're lucky, he won't even be hideously maimed by then. That's an option? I didn't realize that was an option. Please tell me that's not an option. It's highly unlikely. 20% chance. 30% chance tops. You shouldn't worry about it. One bit. I think talking to you isn't good for my mental stability. Duh. As a bonus for being the 100th customer of the day, the ice cream shop gives Cthulhu a special prize. Cthulhu got a mystical cloak. This accessory for Crystal boosts her sats. Hmm. It is now Christmas Eve the 5th. Oh, wait, I was right. Sure. What? I am doing curly stuff. I am I am gonna do curly stuff. Okay, well, let's pick See? something. See? Let's pick something. Cthulhu decides to go to the mall. The mall proves to be quite busy, but Cthulhu fails to find any items that interest him. Cthulhu sees an office door with a help wanted sign on it and decides to go in. I'll be straight with you. We're short on help, so I can't afford to be picky, and I feel like I should be picky with you. Hang on, I want to do, I want to read, I also want to read. Okay. I completely understand. Uh, I'll, uh, um... Honey, you to handle mall Santa duties today. Ask the kids what they want for Christmas. Say ho, 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 right? You know the drill. Just tell them if you got a cold. Just tell them if you you got a cold and say ask about well your appearance. Your appearance. Cthulhu gets dressed in the mall Santa clothes. Surprisingly, they fit perfectly. Well, what if they see something weird with my face? A boy stands up in front of Cthulhu. Remember she said just pretend like you have a coat. Oh, oh, oh! Boy, I mean, boy, what would you like for Christmas? Uh... Mwah. <laughs> Don't you worry about my looks, I have the flu. Now wouldn't you like to sit on Santa's lap? Talk a little louder. Uh, uh... Be a kid. A girl approaches. Murray Scott. Fatagon. 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 To what? you, little girl. Little girl. And what would you like, Santa? 
to bring you for Christmas this year. This year. The light from the girl's eyes dims and she begins to drool. That's like Cuphead. <laughs> Many children later, the gate the day comes to a close. I gotta live with you, man. You're the worst mall Santa I have ever set my eyes on. Thank you. Hysterical calls from parents are up 15% from last year, and last year wasn't great. But who am I kidding? It's not like anybody else wanted a job. Here's your paycheck. Cthulhu got a fencing sword. This weapon for Cthulhu adds the disarm ailment to his slash ability. I doubt I'll get any better employees anytime soon, so come back anytime you want a few bucks. It is now Christmas Eve the 6th. Cthulhu feels a pressure on his head as if someone is trying to smother him with a pillow. This is in fact what is happening. Marky Wacky! Baba! That's me. Get off of me! Wake up, Cthulhu! I found someone who knows where a League of Evil of Christmas Evil member is hiding. This is Baba Yaga! Baba Yaga Chan! Pleased to meet ya, boss! The League of Christmas Evil is the last place you'd expect. Santa's very own toy shop. When, when the cats away, the mice will play. I only do chicken metaphors. Bye-bye! <laughs> when the chicken's when the away, away, the, the chicken, chicken will play. play. Will play. Makes sense. The chicken are on vacation, so they're having a good time and playing. <sighs> Not particularly <laughs> relevant, though. Oh. Jinx! So, new girl with the chicken on your head, what's the what's the chicken on your head? Punch, 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 punch. I like chickens. Let's put the mole in your butt. That's it. That's it. Punch, 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 punch. I jinxed you, Dad. Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm a trends. I'm a trendsetter. Everyone will be wearing a chicken on their head next season. Mm. Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga, I think I've heard of you. Are you supposed to be a lot older? I'm actually a thousand year old witch. I just look like a kid. Seriously? Look at her mouth. <laughs> oh. Look at her mouth. This, it's... Yeah. Oh, and remember the the Polar Express movie where the boy's face looks like Link when he was surprised? Where he was like... Mm. Yeah. No, that's nuts. Anyone who tells you that is is covering is covering for something. What you see is what you get. Is what you get indeed. Thanks for the lead. Let's go to Santa's workshop tomorrow. I'm coming with. I hardly think we need to take some kid. And a chick and a chicken. Don't be decent de cluck cluck. Cluck. So Cluck Cluck says, Bagark! <laughs> On our quest, we could handle things just fine by ourselves. And that's, and that's where you're wrong, Baba Yaga. Blah. And Cluck Cluck and have joined your party. And Cluck Cluck have joined your party. Okay, In combat, Baba can gain chicken power using a chicken move. Spend all chicken power in order to boost the ability's power. At t at 100 chicken power, chickens chicken moves are twice as effective at 200. Three times as effective. I mean, at two, I mean, twice as effective. At 200, three times as effective. Use the power of chicken wisely in order to save Christmas. She wants to join us in our noble quest to rescue Santa. I say the more the merrier. I don't want to rescue Santa. He can stay out of the picture forever. Oh, for all I care. Look at me, I'm Santa, and I'm a big fat stupid head. Oh, you're gonna get on that list. What? Surely you can't mean that. 
Stan has been sniffing me on presents for years. I'm I'm going to find him and make him give me what's wrestling run with interest. I've changed my mind, Bobby Yaga. Let's make the big man pay. Yeah, you got it, boss. I feel like I'm losing control of the narrative. Tell me about it. It's now Christmas Eve the 7th. Just a few days ago, this place was bustling with the happy sound of elves hammering, sewing, and otherwise building toys. Unfortunately, the Elvish Union has a strict no Santa, no work policy. As soon as Santa was kidnapped, they all abandoned their posts. Good guys have loyal followers. Santa's just a no good capitalist piggy slave driver. Providing all the milk and cookies anyone could ever want is hardly the action of a slave driver. Whatever he is, he's my meal ticket to getting my powers back. We'd better search the place. Alright. Okay. This looks cleaned out. What's that? Look, look. You smell trouble. It's a little known fact that chickens have an amazing sense of smell, one that rivals the fiercest bloodhound. I don't think that's true. Besides, the regular assortment of random encounter monsters, Cluck Cluck, says she detects the presence of 12 bad little boys. Uh-oh. The Yule Lads. They've been eyeing Granddaddy's Christmas Kingdom for years. Oh. They'll be eyeing a new kingdom soon. A black eye. All right. Over there to the right. Wait, wait, where are you going? Oh, wait, go back down and go to the right. Back down to the beginning. You missed a bunch of stuff. Up, over, go down to the right. To the right. Up, 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 up. To the right, to the right, to the right. Oh, let's see what's over here. Don't skip the battles. That's how we level up. There's a chest over here. Oh, I don't know. Well, we can keep going from going around, but go to the left first. Quit skipping the battles. That's how we okay. level up. That's how we get our powers. I'm beating the easy guys. You only want to skip the battles whenever your health is low. What are we fighting? Christmas lights? You don't need that. You don't need that. Don't waste it. You wanna go back over to skill? Hmm? What? Yeah, right there. Going to the left. Let's see what's over there. Up and over there. Crystal leveled up. Baba Yaga leveled up. Poison mist. Oh, okay. There you go. No, it's it's that's one of our items. 
Did you save? Yeah. Did you save? Yeah. These guys are weak against Earth, so use the berry. Use berry on it. On one of those robot guys. Yeah, they're weak against Earth, so what are you using? Boom, bada, bing, baby. Let's see. Guys, always do the tentacles first in this game, cause no, cause that attacks all the enemies. So always do that. First. See if she has an all attack, but it's uh. Antidote. This cures ailments from one ally. Battles? Do we beat them all? Oh uh, wait, how did we? Did we miss that one? Oh, look at that guy! Take the goals for you.
there was a chest down there. Wait, remember, so go up and around. No, not that way. Go up and around. I think it's on, on the other side. Over. Maybe not. No, it must be on the other screen. So, go back. I don't have. So they're not there yet. They're only 10% charged. Remember, with each attack, they get stronger. Go to. Wait. See if she has an all. Use the earth on this guy. Hmm? Use the earth on the blue guy. What? The blue guy. That's his weakness. Wait a second, so. Cyber Elf. <laughs> so their weakness is they're weak against poison, so give them some poison. Says Cyber Elf. Feels like it should be in a different game. Easier your night now. It's been a couple turns. 30% charge, that's fine. Now go down. Yeah, and then that to the down and yeah, see if that treasure chest is over there now. Go up one. Go to the right. Nope, or down one. No, no, no. I, I was wrong. E, now to the right. <laughs> no, okay, where is it? It must be on that other screen. Oh, this is that other place we were at before. 
That's a little bit different. Yeah. There's a chest up there too. So let's see, how do we get over there? Santa has abandoned you all. If you want any toys, you're going to have to bow to us, y'all. You don't get any points for arriving all with y'all. You rat, Santa hasn't abandoned us. He's been kidnapped. No, I'm Dragon. Rat is over there. Huh? Hi there. With hand out of the picture, we decided that it was time to go global. And what's more global than China? Our Icelandic names were so hard to pronounce for the rest of the world, but everybody knows the animals of the Chinese zodiac. Wait, so that means, uh, what are you his name, chicken? Rooster, actually. Chicken would be better. Call yourselves whatever you want. Release the jolly old man to us or perish. There's twelve of us and only three of you. You're the ones who are going to be able to do the perishing. Actually, the game engine only allows for five enemies at a time, so 70 of you are going to have to set this one out. No fair. And the Yule Cat get four of you and the cat versus one of me. I like those odds. Don't forget about us. Let's see here. See, they're weak against poison. No, they're all a little different. The yield cast weak against poison. So we're gonna go for it. See if we got a poison. Eh, maybe not. Oh, that cat's the weakest one. Oh, no, this guy's weak. Bye, Snipper. And now, let's see. Do we have a poison? Oh, wind damage. One poison. One physical damage. Rotten egg is poison. Yeah, but I'm seeing if they have all, one for poison for all. What? What? I'm seeing if they have one that's poison for all, but they don't. Or we don't have it right now. That's that poisons all of them. Yeah. Rotten egg does. It said one. Oh, like you can that you can use infinitely, doing that. Just it hits all of them. Like there's. No, no, the rotten egg can hit all of them. I think. Yeah, we'll stun. Oh, we can't. Wait, wait, wait. Go to Raw and Egg and try it. This is one. Oh. Yeah, but try it. Okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought it was. I thought it was all. I thought it was all poison. I thought it was all poison. Me. Hey.
that. Okay. Oh, it's done. Give chicken some action here. Yeah. Do the do, do the lightning. Dunda. Oh, da -da -da -da. enemies defeated. Lightning, da -da -da -da. Level up. Level up. Level up. We beat him off. Can't we have a rematch with the other seven, you lads? No, that would be needlessly repetitive. Cheers, nuts. Now that we've defeated you thanks to a game engine limitation, you must tell us where Santa is. He's not here. I can tell you that much. How ridiculous would it be for us to hide Santa in his own workshop? No, you're going to have to face the other six. I mean, five members of the Christmas League of Evil first. All right, give us back, uh, give us the leftover workshop toys. We smashed them all to beats. Get out. Faced with the red-hot fury of Baba Yaga, the Yule Lads flee the premises. Cthulhu, Crystal, and Baba all head back to town, discouraged but not defeated, and a new day dawns. It is now Christmas Eve the 8th. Good morning, boss. Or wait. Good morning, boss. Cthulhu opens his eyes. This time he is not being smothered with a pillow. Can I ask you something, boss? This early in the morning? No. What is about you? I'm listening. How do you get your own game? Two, actually. There's also Cthulhu Saves the World. I've been trying to pitch developers on a Baba Yaga. I told you, Tycoon, but nobody's greenlighting it. No wonder that's a terrible name for a video game. Just look at Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Cthulhu is me, so it's awesome. Everybody likes saving Christmas, or things, and Christmas. Ka-ching! So it's all just one big money grab of where you pick popular words and string them together? Not quite. You still need a great elevator pitch. Nobody wants to tycoon chickens, but a dating sim where everyone's a rooster or a chicken? That would sell. And you could use the, game, the same portraits for all the chickens and save money on asset production. Nobody would even notice. Can we do a little white nurse? I'm so low. Right people would notice. A catchy name. A non-existent budget. And a bizarre concept are your tickets to a great video game, video game stardom, super stardom. But I want a video game to, my video game to be good. Look, it Sorry, looks like I he's holding a cup of coffee. It does. My agent just landed me a starring role in a new pachinko game. Oh, I'll be going now, boss. Good talk. I think Alyssa LaSalle from Cosmic Star Heroine is in town. Maybe she could offer some pointers. That's it for today. The voice from beyond demands you go to sleep. It is now Christmas Eve the 9th. So, um, uh... And we will finish this episode there. We'll pick back up on Christmas Eve the 9th next time. See if Cthulhu can really save Christmas, guys. Have a great time, and thanks for visiting Bakertown.